Hey, this is Swaggers, continuing our Dishonored 2 walkthrough. Uh, we are doing no powers, so I'm not going to show the little outsider uh, mission because it's pretty straightforward. You're just running, you pick up the heart so that we can find uh, uh, bone charms and runes and stuff. But uh, we're going to forego powers, we're doing no powers, no spots, and uh, no kills. So... Let's uh, grab the crossbow here, and we are on the dreadful whale. Uh, not the sea creature, the crying. And we got a couple things to do here. If you read the maintenance list here, it tells you we're trying to get into uh, the storage room, which is uh, right here. So in order to do that, we are going to do that just because there are some items in there, some easy money. We're going to come up on the deck. And then the window is open. And if you use the heart, you can see there's actually a rune on the other side of the boat. And we'll get that after this. So we can grab all the wire here. And I think this, um, that serum stuff, I think that is for power. So that doesn't really do us any good either. And then just uh, smash this uh, wood plank. And there we go. And then we're going to head into the room and we're going to go back uh, into our uh, buddy section here. Get the crossbow bolts. And there is an audiograph. And then you're going to have to kill these blood flies to grab the dried one, which is worth a little coin. And again, some more Adermine solution and elixirs, which we'll be maxing out pretty quick here since obviously we don't really get hit. Uh, we'll get some, uh, you know, blood fly damage, but that's about it. So now we're going to run up to the top of the boat and jump in the water and get the uh, rune here, which again, I don't think does anything for us either because we don't have powers. It's just worth a couple hundred bucks. So I've already decided that since we're playing on very hard and we're doing stealth, uh, we're not going to go for all the collectibles in this one. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of off the side that's possible to get um, no powers, but just powers make it a lot easier. And obviously we're going for no kills and stealth, so we're just going to get through the missions. We're still going to do side missions. We'll still get achievements uh, where we can. We're just not going to go crazy. So then uh, use the skiff and we will head into the mission proper here, which is uh, the edge of the world. And we're going to head over to this beached whale here. We will get an achievement, Jewel of the South, for showing up. And there's a rune in his mouth. That we just need to grab. Boom. So 200 bucks. And then there's a hidden cache. You can buy a map to show where this is, but if you know where it is, you don't need to pay for the map. So we're going to go to this buoy, and there's a little crash ship under here. If you're going high chaos, this is a great area early in the game because there's grenades um, and lots of other stuff, spin razors. So there's some good high chaos stuff. But we're here mainly because we want those sleep darts. Sleep darts are mad awesome. Mad awesome. Yeah, I said that. So the, there's two two things we're really doing in this mission first is we're going to rob the black market which uh, is a um, side achievement and then we're also going to help this chick get a dead body which is also a side achievement um, before we go to the market though if you go to the back here uh, there's a beggar who has a couple sleep darts we're gonna take those from him you know he doesn't need these and a health and he's all like, you're going to regret that. I was going to you know, drop him some coin if it let me, but it doesn't. Okay, so upstairs. So note that once you rob the black market, you can no longer do upgrades in this mission. So if you want to do any upgrades, uh, pay for those first. Blueprints, anything like that that you're working on, you want to pay for these first. Gear? No, we can steal the gear. What you're worried about is the upgrades. 
So pretty much what he has there is, you know, one each of a bunch of different stuff. So it's not too impressive. Okay, so we're going to go out the back here. And when you head to the left, we'll meet a new character here. We're going to talk to uh, Mindy. And she needs us to steal a corpse um, from the outsider uh, facility, I guess. Wanna help me? Oh, oh, hey. Yeah, I can do that. I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. He's already dead. Don't Easy peasy. He's already dead. A body. That's odd. From where? Overseers. Sorry, Overseers Outpost. I think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it. Then meet me in the old basement below the dentist office near there. You will think about it. Because in this game, you don't really commit to doing anything. So this is the door that we need to get into. So we're going to head up here. And then we're going to head right into this uh, room uh, here with all the blood flies. So this is where you can take some damage. Um, but obviously it doesn't count as being aggro or anything like that. Money, money, money. And I'm not too worried about most, you know, thing. I'm really not too worried about anything in this. That's just an elixir. We don't need that. So, moving on. Okay, so there is a bone charm in here. So we want to take out all of this blood fly garbage, and then uh, grab that. So this is unsteady hand, uh, which is pretty worthless to us because it is to uh, make their aim worse. And if anyone is shooting at us, then they've spotted us and we've already failed. Boom. And then most times when you blow up one of those nests, they're going to drop something that's worth a little coin. Lots of people decided they, they'd just chance uh, coming into this blood fly infection. Okay, so the piano, and then we're going to jump over uh, this little cabinet there and that's going to take us upstairs okay so I'm going to use my sleeping darts here there's a you can see very aggro there's an aggro um, infected type guy um, he does count as spotted and an enemy if you kill him so what we want to do is kind of sneak in uh, give him a little dart to the back and then sneak back out and let that take effect it should already have taken effect And then I'm going to switch to the incinerary ones that I have because what we need is actually in this display case. And if we send that in there, that'll just take care of that. Make sure you get the nest because the nest is... So we got our sleep dart back right away. That's nice. And a couple extra. Don't need any bullets. Dried husk for five bucks. And we are all filled up on sleep darts. Okay, so in here... Elixir, and then there is the black market shop key. That is our goal. Now we gotta head all the way back to where we were to sneak into the back and get some more incendiary bolts from that guy. Man, I I'm happy to be back playing Dishonored. What a great game. I mean, truthfully, so far this is the same game I played whatever a couple years ago um, but it's a great game I like that no one cares about all the dead bodies you know that they didn't they already have a plague okay so we're switching back to the sleep darts and then you want to sneak here we're gonna unlock the door 
And then he talks like he knows you're there. Like he's got a set saying, why do you cover your face? What are you trying to hide? Um, but if you're sneaky, he won't turn around. And we can just uh, walk in. And just uh, choke him out. But as you see here, as soon as we choke him out, the whole thing uh, is going to shut down automatically. We're going to get an achievement for a black market burglar, which is a rare. And then we can just uh, go about and just rob everything that he's got. Silver, that's 175. I thought it was 150. Oh, the gold's 150. Uh, there's a cash register with some coins in it. Yep, closed it by accident. The game is very, you have to be right on what you're grabbing. You know, normally games like this, if you just keep clicking the button, you're going to grab everything. This, you have to be facing the stuff. Bunch of copper wire worth some money. Bunch of uh, processed oil. And then we can fill up our grenades. We already got grenades. Um from under the ocean there and then um, what I forget is you can actually open up the display cases so I'm gonna walk out of here and then I'm gonna be like oh yeah I actually want to uh, go back and take the things that were in the display even though I don't I don't know if there's anything we actually need there is the map um, which is just the location we already went but technically it's something to get and then there's some more sleep darts. We can fill up on those. Crossbow bolts, not necessary. Grenades. Um, I think we need one more. Oh, the stun mines, those are new. And uh, spring razors, we're all fell up on. Okay, so that's that. So our next step is to get through the area to the um, overseer outpost so that we can steal ourselves a corpse. So how we're going to get there so we're going to backtrack again and go through, and that's just saying, hey, by the way, um, there are blood flies there. He did not quite get out. Uh, we're going to head all the way back through here, and this time when we get to the piano, we'll actually go downstairs and we can just exit out. So we're going to have to chop off that. And exit out and then crouch. So now we're going to be in hostile territory here. And this this is a good place to save. That is the overseer uh, outpost there. Okay, so there's a guy who's pathing. So what we want to do is hide back here. And you're going to just be able to see his head to know that he has left the area. But because we're also playing, we're playing on uh, very hard. So he is very quick to see you too. And you can see right there, if he turns, unfortunately you almost always get seen. Nothing you can really do. We're going to grab this guy and we're just going to leave him here. And now we're waiting for that pathing guard to uh, come back up. And again, we have to be real careful here because these guys are super hyper aware, which is good. Um, you, you, I play so many stealth games where like you're like, how does he not see you? Well, in this game, they do see you. So make use of listening to the movement. Hopefully you've got some good headsets. And then uh, we're going to grab him, pickpocket him, and we're going to drag him back uh, just to where that other guy is. No one else is moving around and that guard's asleep. So he's just got to be kind of out of the way. Just going to drop him down here. Now that dumpster is full of blood flies. So if you're looking for an interesting way to kill people... Uh, open that dumpster and run, but they'll all go aggro, and then you're going to have a battle. Um, this is part of an achievement. There are three sets of um, musicians, so just watching that is going to be part of an achievement. And now we are going to sneak our way into the outpost. Isn't too terribly hard. Leaving with the body is where it's going to get interesting. And we're just going to pull him right over here to this little alcove here and drop him off. And then you shouldn't have any issues actually getting in. Just walk in, crouched, open the door. And there are a lot of levels here that really aren't worth anything. 
So we're going to head up a few floors. And there's a rune? A rune in here. Okay, so there's a, two guys having a conversation in the room right there. We need to wait for this uh, conversation to end so that they can path out their separate ways. Blah, 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 blah. Overseers are great. Blah, 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 blah. I don't remember the music boxes. Is that new? Or is that something I've forgotten from Dishonored 1? Like I said in the first video, I really hope that um, they put in those ch the challenge modes pretty quick. That was where the real fun was. Those little, those little quick missions for points. Okay, so he doesn't leave here. Um, he's going to have his back to us, which is obviously a horrible mistake. There is a guy at the desk in there, so be careful. You can kind of see him. He's not really sleeping, but he's not really paying attention either. So just to get this guy a little bit out of the way, we're going to go launch him down the stairs. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't dead from throwing, you know, Hitman, you throw a guy down the stairs, he probably is going to die from it. Okay, so the other guy is in the room to the left, and he is just uh, praying. So we can just uh, walk right in and choke him out. Take a little nap. Take a little nap. More solution that we don't need. Okay, if you look, he is at the desk here looking our way. So I'm like, nope, not going to be able to get in there. I'm like, that looks like a pretty big jump. Can't, oh, well, that window's still in the same room we're in. Oh, we can go to this little awning here. So again, might want to do a little save because there are some enemies. And then here's my first disappointment in the game. There is no way to choke this guy out because he's in a chair. There's no way to grab him. I can't get him. So now I've got to sit here and uh, luckily I've got sleeping darts otherwise I'd be hosed. I like how we can just read all this stuff. So I'm like how do I get this guy? Boom. But again, if I didn't have those, or if you're playing and you don't have those, you're hosed. Okay, so here's the uh, blueprint. One of two. We, we're going to miss the other one, unfortunately, because, again, we're just trying to get through this. Uh, this You need that document. That, well, you don't really need that document because you can just see what the code is. But you get that document to then match with this document so that we can get into the safe here and get this rune. So it's... Um, and they do it for you. It's one, two, seven. And we're in. And we'll get the rune. 200 bucks. And then another uh, three silver. Okay, so we've got two more guys up top. And here's a very worthless map, but it's been added to the journal. Two more guys on the top where the body is. Don't need that. Well, I guess I have taken some damage. I could uh, use an elixir to keep an elixir, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so if you're tied up, the guy's going to come out of that room. You just need to be uh, tied up on this wall, and he won't he'll walk past. I think we're actually going to use this desk. Because, again, in, in very hard, they are hyper-aware. So we're going to use the desk here just to make sure. 
Well, he had some money. Hopefully I steal his money. That's going to be a separate game, too, is if you're going for the 60% of the money. You're going to, I mean, you got to kill everyone. You just got to get a ton of money. Boom. Okay. There's all of that. Let's get in the room here. And then we're going to get our first corrupt bone charm. Don't need those. We'll take the money. Um, a corrupt. Corrupt means that there's a negative to go with the positive. And this one is you take less damage, but your speed is reduced. Don't need that because I don't plan to ever take any damage. Stun mine. Sleep darts. Yay. That's probably the only upgrade I might ever do is uh, sleep darts capacity. Okay, there's going to be two guys up top here, but they're completely not paying attention to us. So, not a problem. Just choke them out. Make them go sleepy sleep. Okay, let's just uh, drop. What I like about this is the dead body is I don't have to, I can just chuck him wherever I want to chuck him. I think it's just bullets there on the table, so again, nothing we need. And I'm going to, when I grab this guy, I'm going to pull him back. Just I'm just doing this for safety. You just never know where a body's going to fall. So we're going to grab the body. Now here's the thing. Um, of with the citizens here in town they don't care that you're armed and they don't care about dead bodies but they do care about you carrying a dead body so we're gonna head in here we're gonna drop the body um, little side area couple a little bit of money to pick up but uh, read read the notes This, this chick uh, killed herself, couldn't go on with her life, and then the brother came in, and he couldn't go on with his life without his sister. Tragic, tragic, dishonored storytelling. So, anyway, they don't care about bodies, so I would save. I absolutely save right here, because what we need to do is we need to launch this body right by that sign there, we want to get it right on the sign there. And actually, one of the times, and I was going to put it in, but I didn't. One of the times, I got it to actually catch on that sign, which made it impossible to move on. But again, no one cares that you're armed. No one cares that there's a dead body flying. So we want to pull back as far as we can and still be able to carry him, and then just come down the stairs immediately. And then I would suggest, um, at the bottom of the stairs here, in case you're not listening, is check your stats and just make sure that you don't have any spots and we haven't been spotted and we've got no kills and so we are good to go and then you come in here and you just gotta throw the body and you can either throw the body or for some reason if you don't do it in the first like half a second it's just gonna automatically take it for you and then she's just apparently burying it so I don't know what's going on there But there, we've helped Mindy, which is going to be a big boost for our stealth walkthrough because what she's done is she's going to disable the um, the electric tracks. And see, she's got a lot of bodies back here too. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this lady. Maybe we'll find out later. You can actually kill her, and it'll just say like um, important character dead or something like that. Okay, so we're going to go up uh, the side here. And you can die. You can die to the spikes on this fence. So make sure you do a good jump over. And then this is what she did. She turned off the electricity here. And it would be easier if you could just jump up and grab that wall there, but you cannot. So this is the, this is the end of the mission. That's where we're trying to get to. 
Um, but there's a couple guys to take out. So I'm going to go with a sleep dart. I'm going to go with two sleep darts, and I'll tell you why. This first guy on the left is pretty far away, and he moves around a lot. Make sure you've got the aim above the the board there. Otherwise, now this guy, half the time I can get around him, and half the time he just instantly sees me. So it's just easier just just put him down. Um, again, this is this is the end of the level, and we don't want to screw it up here. So boom, ride the carriage. And this will be the end of mission two, and we will uh, check out our stats. And obviously, just from looking at the heart, you know we've left a lot of runes and a lot of bone charms laying around. Uh, they weren't really convenient to be going for on a stealth run. And then there was a there's a painting and a blueprint in the very beginning, you know, which we could have gone, but it was and it was difficult. But there we go, merciful, no kills, ghostly, no detects. Um, Five of nine runes, one of two shrines, two of six bone charms, less than half the coins, you know, and those are our special actions. And there you go. That is mission two, and I will see you in mission three.